I really wish I had some cookies right now. Cookies! Yay! Let's eat them now. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Those mother. Wet Hot American Summer first day of camp. This is the long awaited sequel, prequel, spin off, whatever you want to call it, to the cult classic Wet Hot American Summer. Hardcore fans have been waiting for this. I just watched the movie for the first time last week. Now, this series is a prequel to the movie, like I just said. The movie took place on the last day of summer camp. This whole series, which is eight episodes long, takes place on the very first day of camp. It's that simple, guys. Nearly everybody from the movie came back to do this show. You got Elizabeth Banks, Bradley Cooper, Amy Poehler, Paul Rudd, G.N. Gruffalo, David Hyde Pierce, Michael Showalter, Christopher Maloney, Molly Shannon, so many people. Guys, I could spend probably the next five hours listing off everybody that came back to do this show. Now, like I said, I saw the movie a few days ago. I really liked it a lot. And um, it was a really enjoyable movie. I know that it has that cult classic following. And you know it deserves it because the movie is really entertaining. It's basically a parody of 80s movies. And it works for what it is. And David Wayne, the director of that movie, came out to do this show. And he directed every single episode as well as co-wrote it with Michael Showalter, who plays Coop. I gotta tell you, this show was a lot of fun. I had a great time watching it. This is like the quickest, like, three hours I ever, in my opinion. You could basically watch this entire show within, like, three or four hours, and it's pretty awesome. The comedy is so good. David Wayne, I gotta watch more of his films. Unfortunately, the only other film other than Wet Hot American Summer that I've seen is Wonderless. Not a good movie, but Paul Rudd's in it, and he's awesome in it because he's awesome in everything he's in. Please go see Ant-Man if you haven't seen it already. Please. Please, please go see Ant-Man if you haven't seen it right. Thank you. Direction, very good. It's fast paced. All the actors jump back through the roles. My favorite character from the movie was Christopher Maloney as Gene. Oh my god. The stuff that Gene does in the movie is... <laughs> Christopher Maloney, such a great job playing him. I love Paul Rudd as Andy. I love Bradley Cooper and Amy Poehler as um Ben and Susie. Victor, whoever played Victor, whatever, I forgot his name, whatever. Oh my, there's an, a hilarious chase scene with him and some other character in, in this show. I'm not going to say who chases him, but oh my god, so funny when he runs. <laughs> the person that's chasing him runs like a girl. It's so funny. Oh my god. And by the way, this is a spoiler free review. I'm not going to spoil anything. Gina Gruffalo is Beth. She does good. Uh, I love Elizabeth Banks, like I just said. All, it's just great seeing these characters again. And the funny thing is that these are adults playing teenagers. That's how ridiculous it is. This show is so ridiculous, as is the movie. And I love it. I love ridiculous humor. When it's self-aware of itself, then that's good. But when it's acting all like serious and stuff, it doesn't work. And this is one of those few comedy films that works for the kind of humor it has. Coop, I forgot to mention Coop. Michael Showar did, does good as Coop. And he plays two other people too. And it's, it's, it's great. It's great. I'm going to tell you that. So the acting is solid. Writing, great. David Wayne and Michael Showar wrote all the episodes. I believe direction, fast-paced like I just said. There are a few jokes that don't work in this show. Same with the movie because I didn't love the movie. I really, really liked it. I would have given it like a B plus. But there are a few jokes that don't work in here. And by the way, the guest stars, holy crap. So many awesome guest stars. Like every actor does pretty good. Even the people who are in it for like one scene, they do really really well. And so other than some of the jokes not working, a problem I had was the first two episodes focused on this new kid named Kevin. And um, not that that's a bad thing. It just took up too much of the story. Like I just really wanted to see these characters again. And while it's best if it's just not the Wet Hot American Summer reunion, uh, it's cool that they introduced new characters and everything. But I didn't really care for the kid Kevin story. I understood where he was coming from. I know exactly where he's coming from. I'm just going to tell you that I completely understand but it just wasn't as compelling of a story as i as it could have been but i'm not blaming anyone it just didn't work for me personally but like i said i understood where the kid was coming from and then this kid drew 
so bad. He's so, so terrible. Not not good at all. And um, I just wish there was more. I Eight episodes is good and everything, but I would have liked it to be a little longer. But because of the actors' busy schedules like Paul Rudd and Bradley Cooper, especially those two. So overall, I could say this was a very, very entertaining show. I had a lot of fun with it. Quickest three hours ever. Three to four hours ever. I wish it wasn't short but you know what it worked for what it was it was just great seeing all these characters again and i gotta say i had a great time so if you love the movie you should definitely watch the series and i just gotta say one thing if you haven't watched the movie you should watch that first and then watch the show because if you watch the show first even though it's a prequel you might not get the humor that's in this series so i'm gonna give wet hot american summer the first day of camp a b plus just like the movie so guys, tell me down below, would you follow this series? I might do a live spoiler discussion with someone who's watched the show. I think that might be better than just hearing my opinion when it comes to spoilers. I'm not usually a fan of doing spoiler reviews. So I don't know, I'll think about it. But yeah, tell me down below, would you follow this show? Who's your favorite character in, in Wet Hot American Summer? Are you glad that they made this prequel? Do you think it's dumb? Just tell me your thoughts. Tell me your thoughts on the movie and the show. Thank you guys so much for watching this review, and I'll see you guys soon.